Good morning. Thanks for joining us for Local 3 News. I'm Rebecca Bartlemé. Joining me via video chat this morning is Kevin Store with the Portage Health Foundation. Last hour, we started talking about a new program for students called Capturing Kids Hearts, and it's about helping children work through trauma. We have offered this right now to all of the schools within our within our service area. So all of the schools in the Copper Country Intermediate School District as well as the Ontonagon Area High School and the Ewan High School. And, um, you know, obviously with, with the COVID uh, pandemic that we're working through, um, you know, we're, we may have a couple of schools that um, may end up opting out of this before the training comes in. But right now we are working with this and we, we, we intend to bring this and make it available to every school within our, within our service area. Eventually you plan on branching out and making this more into an, a community awareness project, correct? It's something that impacts all of us and even just with the faculty and staff that would go through the training, you know, it's about 650 people or 650 different families that would have, you know, these tactics and skills. And I know from the people that have gone through it already, um, you know, uh, one, of, one of the teachers in Calumet told me, she, she said, it's not only helped me become a bunch better teacher and a much more aware teacher where, uh, you know, she's getting a lot more job satisfaction out of what she's doing. But she said it's also really helped improve her, you know, communication at home and has made her a much better wife and a much better mother. How will training for this program work? Not just the teachers, but the school administrators, the office staff, you know, uh, the bus drivers, the custodians. Um, the intent is that everybody within that in that school community um, is received the training and, and understands it. So there's a real common language. Um, in being able to identify trauma in children, identify the signs of trauma, and then also to, you know, have a better understanding of what do you do with that, whether it be just acknowledging and, and you know, working with that child directly or, or making um, any, maybe making some attempts to get a proper referral or working with the family or whatnot. So it is intended to encompass all faculty and staff within the school systems and and again, um, we're, our, our long-term intent is to have that available to every school system within our service area. Thank you for joining us, Kevin, and informing us on this program. For more information, you could go to our website, upmatters.com, and tune into Local 3 News tonight at 6 o'clock, 5 o'clock Central for more local news, weather, and sports.